Oh, yeah. Well, let me get back in the whiskey. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> do you, um, do you think I'm trying to? you try not to. Joey has arrived. Hey, Calvin, uh, you want to get rid of this trash? Today, what we're, what we're making Yeah, is, what are we making? Let me know. Uh, I think you might be familiar with this dish. It's, I uh, saw some sort of pasta. Was there? Yeah, we have uh, carbonara. Carbonara, Ooh. wonderful. Um, how about this? So let's, uh, let's get you a glass. Let's get me a glass. Let's if you, if you have an apron, that would be amazing. We do, we do, we do. Can Calvin, can you give us the apron? <laughs> some, some pasta. From Napoli. Wow, um, this is straight from. Yeah, and these are bucatini. So bucatini yeah. have the slight hole, hole in the middle, the middle yeah, so we can get yeah. the sauce uh, mm. like, through. I'm in. Throughout, so the flavor is a little bit more real. Salute. 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 Is, that what, is that what we say on the show? I think so. Mm. And, and where is this from? This is from uh, Treviso. So Prosecco comes from more of the northern part of Italy. Let's say I'm an idiot and I don't actually know the answer to this question. Yeah. What's what's the difference between champagne and prosecco? So it's, other than just the grape. Well, it's regional. So okay. like like you have to be certified in the champagne region mm -hmm. to produce champagne. Uh, prosecco is a little bit more loose. It's a wider area. Um, but to be honest, it's it's mostly a brand thing. You know, Luca is not a professional chef, so he didn't advise me. But when you're cooking, definitely wash your hands yeah. before touching any ingredients. I mean, that, that really shows you my lack of professional. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little spicy. So carbonara. Carbonara. Carbonara stands for. Carbonara stands for uh, carbonari. Carbonari is the people who used to make coal or charcoal. Interesting. So a lot of kitchens, even until like up until like World War II in Italy and across Europe, were, were coal based or charcoal based. So like you would have mm -hmm. your oven with like a little hole, and like the stove and stuff, Word. where you put uh, charcoal in and you kept it going with a little yeah. fan that heated the whole the whole surface. Wow. Um, so these guys in the mountains would, their job would be to just burn and create charcoal. So they would take wood and have these huge piles of domes that are covered and it would take probably like two or three weeks to burn all of it because you don't want flame. Wow. You know, it's, you're just trying you, to crisp it up. You really read this Wikipedia page, didn't you? <laughs> um, uh, if, I was, if I'm really rich ever, yeah. I just want, whenever I walk home, I want there to be, whenever I enter my home, I want there to be like, Oil and garlic just on simmering, the stove. Right? Yeah, just simmering. That's a great get app the, idea. Oh, you want to market that garlic candles? What do you think about that? Does that work? Because this. I thought they already exist. Yeah. Can you look that up? Actually, like raw <laughs> garlic. You know that that doesn't do it for me. No, because you need a, it, it, a caramelized garlic. onion and garlic candle. There are multiple brands selling garlic candles. Uh, yeah. Okay. Salute. Okay. Mm. You, now is this one big cutting board? Is that <laughs> I thought so, but uh, the producer told me I can't cut on it, so we actually <laughs> cut it. I bought this Ikea for like 200 bucks. Yeah, dude, so you just want to sell thinner. Well, chips give it a little we'll more surface area to slowly uh, roast in the garlic, get all the flavor Ooh, in the oil. It's not the sharpest. No, it's not. So those chips of garlic will slowly kind of melt in your mouth as, as we roast them and they get in the pasta. But, again, I want to remind you that that's not the traditional way to make carbonara, so don't kill me when I go back to Italy. Where we have a, a little pancetta wow. here, a nice, a nice uh, fresh. And I have a question for you. Yes. If you were given a living pig, would you be able to turn it into that? I know, I definitely. No, you, you can not do that. I think, it's, I think it's top false. Yeah, right? you gotta like cure it or something. Okay. Look at that. I've actually never held something like this before. <laughs> So we're gonna cut these pancetta strips down and probably slice these up again because a lot of this fat will melt off. I think that's the core of the sauce too. That's gonna coat the pasta. All this will shrink down a lot. Interesting. In the pan as we go. How are we feeling? How, how much garlic do we want? More? Maybe one more clove. That'd be good. Then 
Italian. I have been exposed to the Italian cuisine. As as I mentioned, I, I really want to know where these people are from. Um, Cologne. You really, Isn't you know, it Cologne? I, what? I thought it was Cologne. Cologne. <laughs> Why did I say champagne? Yeah. Uh, I have some some friends. Some family friends yeah, who friends. live uh, outside of Rome in. Uh, you know, one of those towns. <laughs> I think it's called Champagne, but I might wow. be wrong about that. I stayed at their at their at their these family friends, and they the the matriarch of the family is an excellent chef, and they have a garden outside, and pretty much everything she cooks is straight from the garden, which you really can't get yeah, better than that. Yeah. And I went there once when I was like nine, and then I just went back like a couple years ago, and. She was like, I'm gonna cook your favorite meal for you. And I was like, what? Like, what's my favorite meal? Like, I couldn't remember. And I guess when I was nine, I was so into this like stuffed squid that she made. It was like a stuffed squid with like vegetables and stuff. And she's like, here it is. And like made it for us. And it was like so good. And I was like, no, I, you, you were right. right. <laughs> you were right. This is my favorite meal. Wow, that looks good. This looks good. I, I'm, I'm trying to see exactly how much because we want to feed everyone here too. So I want to get enough. There's a lot of fat here that's going to melt down. I'll probably get a few more slices. In the meantime, if you can help me out, we're going to have to separate the uh, yolks. yolks. Uh, let me turn this water on. So Interesting. Is it a yolk? It's a yolk only? Yeah. Yoko Ono. Yoko Ono. I don't to make a joke. Crack. Yeah. Well, hand. is that how you? So I would be. Oh, I fucked up. No, I would just scoop that guy out. Um, we're, you're not gonna do anything with these egg whites. No. Okay. Oh. No, one of them. But well, like, I really thought I'd have to deal with the Bermuda Triangle on a daily basis, or like at least on. The, in, like, in quicksand. Yeah, in quicksand. There were volcanoes <laughs> appearing around. Like, yeah. Back Tommy, get in here a little bit. Tommy, Tommy, look at this. This is a fresh yolk. You know, you go back and forth as you let the whites kind of oh. drip out. I know I broke it. Oh. All right, we're going heavy on the pancetta, that's for sure. <laughs> Salute! <laughs> Yay! Yeah. We'll start grating some cheese. And look, you said one, one white? One whole. Yeah. You want your water to be salted like the sea. That's what they say. He's like, come in mare. So we're taking a nice, friendly, oh, this is all fucking wow. a nice handful. A ton of salt. Okay. This, this is my shot. I'm learning. Right. So we'll cover that up, let it boil. we do the ASMR. That was, a, that was a little kid walking on Legos. I'm <laughs> just trying to cook here. Um, we have some Pecorino Romano which is higher in salt content. Um, we'll use some of this, this is more of the traditional carbonara, um, but we also have some Parmesan cheese to balance out that salt content. What we're gonna do is grate this to mix in with our eggs. And once the pasta wire gets boiling, we'll kind of take the next step to getting a pancetta on. Now is there a, uh, is there a reason you chose that side of the grater? No, I was actually just debating which side to use. But I'm, <laughs> I'm just not. The, we wanted to get into the eggs, you know, so we don't uh -huh. want to use. We don't want to use this big guy, or else it's gonna be big guy not good. This can like dissolve. That looks good. In, yeah, know? that looks good. Drink break. Yeah. Slosh. You just <laughs> the pasta water is everywhere. Salute. Salute. I thought the show was salute. Ah, you shit. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> We had our uh, second or third. I have an empty stomach, so it's it's. The yeah, no, I literally out. have an incredible. We ordered pizza. We got our we got our eggs. We got our cheese, garlic, pepper, pepper. You know, I like Baked to I like to break the eggs, the yolks first, and then you kind of just get. It's really about the air content. You know, you want to get some fluff in there. You're, we're gonna mix uh, the pecorino romano, as we said before, um, into the egg mix. Oh, should I keep, should yeah, I keep, keep this going? going? going because we want it to be all in it. Since we're using pancetta that's already peppered, uh, it's, it's a stagionato al pepato. Um, we're gonna add only a little bit of pepper to this guy. Salute. 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 Yeah. Salute. Salute. Thank you. Come on, Tommy, come over here. Well, so actually, we, we go on a cold pan. 
because you want to bring it up to a slow simmer so we get all the fat cooked slowly. Interesting. Unlike many people who go on hot pan yeah. for like more red meat like yeah. cooking steak. We'll go, we'll go medium heat. Should we have another drink? I believe we should. Let's do it. Oh, shit, oh, calm down. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <clears throat> These are fucking cannons. Yeah, there seems like a struggle here. Ooh! Um. <laughs> wow. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Salute. 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 Cheers. Cheers. Salute. 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 We'll edit that cheers out, okay? We'll edit that <laughs> yeah. cheers out. Beep. Beep. Well, look, I like that you grabbed the wooden spoon. I feel like it's a more, uh, it's it's more respectable. Yeah. So uh, the the protector is actually. Kind of <laughs> uh, first of all, well, so let me say I I met Joey. I was just uh, in New York one time and uh, saw his improv show. Um, a fantastic show. Thank you. Um, that he's doing with a couple other buddies. It's a three man show. Three man show. Um, all improv. All all kind of a guest gener audience generated. Yeah. Um, Suggestion. I I uh, yeah no I think that. Right now, I am in the um, sort of a. Uh, <laughs> let me just say, the prosecco's got me <laughs> lost over here. Dude. I'm always shocked. I mean, I've been to a few of the shows, and I, I really just. It seems like it's so practiced. Like, yeah. you guys are good enough to like have like, a full hour show all the way through yeah. like, with one guest suggestion and it seems like you yeah. guys have always done it but there's there's method behind the that. There is definitely method and, and that's often a question you get with improv is like how do you practice that if it's all made up and, yeah. and, and no we're not working on the specific things that it's like when you call me dad I'll respond by saying I hate you son you know like we're, it's not scripted in that sense but there are patterns and there's techniques that you can work on so that uh, when you get in front of an audience, you don't panic. And that's kind of the key to improv. And, and really, I would say performing in general is uh, if the audience feels comfortable and safe, then they're more likely to enjoy the show. I would say there's very, very, very few people in the world that I would not recommend that they take an improv class. You know, literally in any walk of life, uh, and, and I think that's a common misconception with improv, right? You see an improv show and you walk out, people often judge it on how funny it was. But if you're doing an improv class or, or taking improv lessons, it's not about the comedy. It's about learning how to react interpersonally on your feet and, and, and listening to your partner and, yeah. and kind of digesting what they say and reacting naturally. And those are those are basic human qualities. Yeah. Well, well, let me get back in the whiskey. I know. <laughs> you, um, you think I'm trying to? <laughs> Let me feed the guests before you get them. <laughs> so I was on the set of Brooklyn Nine, -Nine and uh, they were shooting a scene, and the end of the scene had some gag to it, some joke. And they did the gag, they did the joke, and the director called Cut, and the writer of the episode rushed into Andy Samberg, and I just saw the two of them kind of riffing ideas for what potential other e endings of the scene. And just On the set. On the set, I just back and forth, the actor and the writer, just like, kind of being like, oh, maybe this, maybe this, maybe this. On the spot. On the spot. Right. And and then they stepped out, and they ran a couple takes, and, and one was really funny, and I said, that's what I want to do. I want to either be as the actor or the writer, but I want to try to be on the spot in front of all these people with a time crunch coming up with something, something good. I was working on Brooklyn on Nine and Andy Samberg asked for a, what do you ask for? He asked for like a coffee with like cream and was like, please not vanilla cream, okay? He just wanted regular cream. Now, I've never had cream in my life, right? So I'm going and I'm getting the coffee and I'm looking at these different kinds of creamer and I can't taste them and I'm like, I don't know what to do. So I just grab one and I like pour it in and I like bring him the coffee and he takes one sip and he goes, definitely vanilla creamer. <laughs> and I go, honestly, it might be vanilla creamer. And I was like, I'll get you another one. And he goes, don't, just don't. So how much does these use a cook for? It's easy, it's easy, it's easy. You see my slurs? You hear them? I know. I hear them too now. Yeah. yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> Fuck. 
Calvin soda timer? Soda timer. How much you need? Uh, let's do eight minutes. Eight try minutes. It. Uh, it's basically fast too over here. <laughs> so we're gonna add our garlic now. We're we're turning the heat down to basically low. I'll turn it off soon, but we just want the garlic to get in the fat. And let's also sprinkle some red pepper on it to give it a little spice on the front end. One for you, one for me. One for you, one for me. All right, yeah. Typically, for pastas with other sauces, you take it off when it's more al dente so that it cooks in the sauce. If it, it, it absorbs the sauce, it's a finishing process with heat on the pan. This, we're cutting the heat, so it's just cooking with strictly the heat of the pasta. Yeah. Let it drip a little bit, but that extra water is not a bad thing. Wow. No! No! Is that the end piece? Yeah, it is. Whatever. No? no? It is. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you pour, I'm gonna stirring. We're stirring vigorously so that the pasta cooks throughout without scrambling. Pasta water. Wow, key, key. You need to be able to motivate yourself just with your own passion for what you're doing. And you don't know the outcome of what's gonna happen, but you put in the work to succeed the best you can. Yeah. I think that there are a lot of similarities between like game day and an improv show. Preparation, and, and if you prepared enough, then you'll you'll succeed. I mean, those nerves, the nerves of, yes. I mean, from the audience, I mean, it's like, it's, it's the, the hours in the gym in front of no one, that kind of. Totally, wow, look at that. And it, in talks about preparation, um, oh my God. this is the result of a lot of preparation and a lot of hunger and a lot of drinking. Uh, on that note, on that note, uh, how should about we, we finish we this it? glass should and we... then start start eating? I took I okay. I took a small sip so that we could cheers and I could finish it, and then you just finished it. So I'll just drink alone. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Tommy too. Yeah, here. Here's you go. Wow! 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 Here we go. Hey, salute. Hey, cheers the force. Salute. <laughs> It's great. Good. You took a bite without the, the pancetta. The pancetta. Yeah. I took a bite with the pancetta, salt content, perfect. Okay. Uh, no, I think I think we, we nailed it. We nailed it. Everyone else, you guys want a little eat? A little Tommy? The grill? Put the camera down? All right, and that's a cut? That's a cut.